I mentioned that Lights Out was sort of your film school. Now mm -hmm. here's you are at the press junket in, in Beverly Hills. What, yeah, we're, we're still, yeah, we're still on this journey learning and experience all these new things. And yeah, I got my hair and makeup done today. That's the kind of a, a new experience, only that. <laughs> yeah. That's we have weird. no clue of anything that's happening. We just follow along and... <laughs> right, but it looks yeah. like you're having fun. Yes, we are. <laughs> very much. <laughs> the audience reaction has been quite tremendous to this film. Um, what about your favorite reactions that you've seen or heard from audiences? Well, the, the best VidCon. experience yeah. at, was at VidCon, where we saw the movie with over 2,000 like teenagers. And, yeah, they were sitting on bean bags, so it was a while it was like feeling like they were just lying, screaming on the floor in a big pile. It was just crazy. Yeah, like I, I recorded it on my phone just to have like the sound of screams, it. Yeah. <laughs> screams of 2,000 teenagers that yeah. I can listen to when I go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> and it's so amazing as well because the movie is fun at times. So you could really feel that with that audience because mm -hmm. they went from screaming their head off to standing up and laughing and, and applauding the movie because it, they felt like they were rooting for the characters in it. It's a much yeah. different feeling, I'm sure, than putting something out online as you did with your short film, yeah. which you get yeah. comments, but it's not the same visceral impact as it's an audience reaction. The, that, the VidCon was actually the first time for us seeing the short uh, with an audience as well. We, yeah. We'd never done that before. It's been. It's been on a lot of film festivals, but we haven't been in the same city as the film mm -hmm. festivals when yeah. it happened. So yeah, this was the first time. Yeah. It was cool because yeah. Yeah, I mean horror and I guess comedies are like the best genres to see with a with a crowd because you get that instant feedback. Yep, set up punchline and, and yeah. feedback. Um, yeah. So can you talk a little bit about the cast of the film? Now I know that you're in the film too yes. in the very beginning in yes. one of the scariest sequences. Thank you. And then you kind of expanded on the characters. Uh, tell fans of the short film what they can expect in the feature. Uh, well, it was important to have. I mean, when we made the short film there wasn't any time to sort of have these character backstories or, or any real drama. Really. So that was the great fun in making a feature to actually go deep into that and create these characters that you can actually care about yeah. and get scared about because you don't want them to, to get hurt or like you want to see them succeed. And we were just so lucky in, in with the cast we got, like Maria Bello and Teresa Palmer, and it's like, I mean, I, I still have moments of seeing the film now and, you know, seeing Teresa and Maria, like, having their argument at the dinner table. It's like, wow, like, I can actually say that I've directed this yeah. and I wouldn't be lying. No. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And in your opening sequence, um, now, how was he as a director on set as opposed to a director in your apartment? Well, in our apartment, it's just the two of us, so I can kind of <laughs> be a bit annoying and ask a lot of questions and and I can look at the at the what we've shot and see well this is good we can move on mm -hmm. so that was a big difference from the Hollywood movie set but I tried to get in the mindset that we were at home in our apartment just the two of us but it did feel good also knowing that I was the only one there that had been directed by him before That's right. so I, I did have that kind of and, thing and yeah. we have our own it's yeah. Swedish language, we so can I can talk in yeah. Swedish, and nobody gets what we're saying. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah.